I clearly adore the Final Fantasy series, but I also adore other games that aren't in the Final Fantasy series. So I'm presenting 10 other games that I love just as much as the Final Fantasy series. So I was originally just gonna do nine games, but whenever I wrote the outline, I just ended up going with 10. So we're gonna go with 10. And the first game I'm going to bring up, it's Ease Books 1 and 2. It's super simplistic. It, it definitely reminds me of those early days, just kind of in the RPG genre, because it was the early days of RPGs. So it's kind of action-oriented battling. It features what's called the bump system. So you literally just walk into enemies repeatedly in order to damage them. But depending upon your angle and the enemy's angle, you can get more damage done to you than you do to it. Now I'm fairly new to the E series, so all of it's still kind of brand new to me. I have a few of them. It's a series that I'm loving the more I get into it. The next game on my list I've mentioned before, but it is Secret of Mana. I have not played Trials of Mana or Seiken Densetsu 3. I have not ventured into it. But I can very confidently say that I did not like the PS4 remake. I think every three hours or so, my PS4 would just shut down. The next game on my list is one that I think is beloved by lots of people out there, but it is Mario RPG. I actually didn't beat Mario RPG until I was an adult. I don't know why I waited that long to play the game, but... But the Paper Mario series is a successor to Mario RPG. There was a big fallout between Square and Nintendo, so... But Mario RPG really set the tone for what Mario could be in an RPG setting. And I don't think you would have Paper Mario without Mario RPG. I, I don't think it would be a thing. And if you have not played Mario RPG, please do. It, it's, it's fantastic. And also, because I'm covering the Mario series now, I'm gonna go ahead and mention a few other Mario titles that I really love. Mario 3, but I think Mario World took it one step further, and Mario World is perfect, I think, as far as uh, 2D side-scrolling platform or whatever you want to call it. But another game I really love from that series is Yoshi's Island, and any of the Mario Karts I, I love. The next game on my list is actually a little bit of a, of a controversial one, and I'll get into why, but it is the Resident Evil 2 remake that came out a couple of years ago. I was a gigantic fan of Resident Evil 2 to begin with, and whenever I saw the, the teaser trailer for Resident Evil 2, my mind exploded. <laughs> I played the Resident Evil 2 remake so much that my disc quit working, but I think the, the Resident Evil 2 remake is as perfect of a game as you can get almost. The only reason it does not get a 10 out of 10 for me is because of the, disc the discrepancies between the A and B scenarios. Meaning, if you pick something up in the A scenario, you expect that item to not be there for the next playthrough, but it still is. And that's my only gripe. I, I love the extra modes. I love playing through Hunk scenario. But for me, it's, it's a 9.9 .9 out of 10. It's so close. It's, it's definitely one of my favorite games of all time. The next game on my list, and it is Bioshock. I will say for the record that I, I did not like Bioshock 2. I was not a fan of playing as a big daddy. I never cared to play as one. And Bioshock Infinite was really good also, but I, I have to I have to give credit to the very first Bioshock because that is the only game I can remember. As soon as the credits were over, I immediately started a new game and tried to get everything there was to get. I was not expecting that ending to happen. And for those of you who play the game, you know what I'm talking about, that ending. The next game on my list is Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. There are a lot of good Mortal Kombat games out there. I was a little hesitant. I almost put Mortal Kombat 2 on this list because that was the first one uh, I ever played. And Mortal Kombat 2 was the first glimpse into the series and, and I thought it was gorgeous. I thought it was a beautiful game. And of course we were obsessed with the blood and the violence and all that stuff. Mortal Kombat 1 definitely laid the groundwork and Mortal Kombat 2 perfected it. But Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 was, I don't know man, it, it just, it really blew me away. And especially after you could play it years later on Xbox Live Arcade. I don't know if it's still there or not. But as, if you were to ask me what the perfect Mortal Kombat game is, it's definitely 
Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And I've got I've got Mortal Kombat XL over there. I've got Mortal Kombat 11. But man, give me give me Ultimate MK3 any day of the week, and I'm just a happy little boy. And of course, I have to bring up the Zelda series. So I really really struggled with this one because Breath of the Wild was was my favorite game of all time for a little while after it came out. It even topped Final Fantasy VI for about maybe a couple of months because I was completely enthralled in this in this open world game. Uh, however, now Final Fantasy VI is still my favorite game of all time, and my favorite Zelda game is not Breath of the Wild anymore. But my favorite Zelda game of all time is A Link to the Past, and it became my favorite Zelda game very specifically after I played uh, the very first Legend of Zelda because A Link to the Past, if you were to play the two games before it, you, you would wonder how did Nintendo get from Zelda 1 and Zelda 2 to A Link to the Past? Where they took the ideas of Zelda 1 and 2 and perfected as an understatement. That game to me is iconic. And I also love Link Between Worlds, I feel, for DS, I feel is just, it's right up there alongside. I mean, in Japan, it's it's basically Link to the Past 2. But A Link to the Past is my favorite Zelda game of all time. And I've, I've played several of them. There's only a handful maybe that I haven't. Next on my list is Mega Man 3. Nah, that, that's a little, I don't know, that's a little weird also because a lot of people love Mega Man X over any of the Mega Man Classic 1 through 6. and. And I almost agree. Mega Man X is is an absolutely perfect Mega Man game. So why then do I prefer 3 over X? It comes down to um, nostalgia, primarily. I played... Mega Man 3 was the very first Mega Man game I ever played. And even from the opening music, as soon as that music starts, man, I'm, I'm in it. And all of Wily's Castle, all that music is fantastic. But Gemini Man's music, to me, I don't know. I, I just feel like that's that's top-notch music, video game music. And it was on an NES a long time ago. A lot of people say that Mega Man 2 is, is way better than 3, and I, I fully disagree. Mega Man 2 definitely had its merits and definitely laid the groundwork for 3, but I feel like everything from the way that Mega Man controls all the way to the robot masters that you fight, Mega Man 3 is superior to me. But I do love Mega Man X, and I love Mega Man X 2. But Mega Man 3 is my favorite Mega Man game. Next to my list is a really strange one, but it is SimCity. And I have to say right up front, anyone that knows me knows that it took me 20 years to beat this game. And I just started playing on this here Mac behind me, I just started playing SimCity 4. And it's supremely interesting. I, I re I'm gonna have to really dive into it in order to get everything there is to, to get. There's a lot going on, way more than the original Super Nintendo SimCity. And I first played SimCity around 1993, and I became obsessed with it very, very quickly. And the last game on my list is Kirby Superstar. I absolutely had to bring Kirby into the mix, but it's weird. I, I'm not a gigantic Kirby fan. I don't like any other Kirby game. I might like Kirby's Adventure, the the regular Nintendo uh, game, but Kirby Superstar to me is is just again, it's it's Kirby perfected. I didn't like Kirby Star Allies. I felt like it. I don't know. It was too short. It it wasn't deep enough. But the thing that I love about the Kirby series is the fact that Kirby and every enemy in the game. They're all adorable, and mix that with like any time, any time Kirby like smashes an enemy, the whole screen shakes, and there's a lot of just like destruction all around. But it comes from like this cute little pink thing. It's it's just I don't know. It, it's such a, an interesting cute versus destruction kind of thing. Now there's more to this list. I, I definitely have more games that I adore, but this is just the, the first 10 that I came up with. If you want to hear maybe 10 more games that I really adore, just leave it in a comment. We can for sure talk about it. Now we can talk about it in the comments all day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you back here next time.